time that you can't even see. Talk about the germs. The germs, you can't even see them. But they're there all the time, and they can make you sick. And we can pass those germs around. I mean, my, I have three grandchildren, and when one of them gets sick, the other three, they just pass that stuff around. And I, if one gets sick, you know that the other two are going to get sick. Maybe it's the same way in your house. So what do we do to not spread the germs? Well, we wash our hands, and cover our, our mouth if you sneeze or cough. When I go to the hospital, the people in the hospital, sometimes I'm, I'm asked to wear a mask and a gown so that I don't spread, spread the germs. <coughs> Well, that's not that's not a good uh, a good thing. In our Bible reading today, Jesus says that sin is kind of like germs. He says things that cause people to sin are bound to come. You can't see sin either, but it's there. Okay? You can't see it, but it's part of our lives even when we don't see it. And you can't you can't promise not to sin it when you promise but you can't keep that promise. But if we're going to sin, Jesus said things that cause us to sin, those temptations, they're going to come. And so sometimes we're tempted to uh, to do, do bad things, say bad things, a lot, cheat, steal, things like that, hate people. Jesus says, yeah, it's going to happen. Sometimes we're tempted not to go to church, you know, not to say our prayers, not to tell people about Jesus. It's not right. Jesus says it's bad to so, Sometimes we do resist those temptations and sometimes we don't. But what do we do then? Jesus also says how terrible it is for the person that spreads those sins, that causes sin to, to happen. <coughs> it's bad enough if we sin ourselves, but even worse if we lead other people. When we seem like we're kind of proud of our sins, and we're spreading, we're spreading the sin. When we use our sins to show off, get people to think we're cool, you know, or grown up, and we're, we're spreading, that, spreading our, 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 our sins. When, when we, we lead people to follow our bad example, use bad words, for example, we're, we're spreading, spreading the sin. And Jesus said that's the bad thing. So, how do you keep from spreading sin? How do you keep from doing that? The gospel of Jesus Christ kills sin. The gospel is the story about the power that we have because Jesus died on the cross for our sins and then rose again to give us new life. When you put the gospel story on our sins, they don't, they don't get spread anymore because they're forgiven. They're forgiven. The gospel kills those, those sins. So you can ask Jesus to, to help you not spread sins, not, not to do those, those things that, that, that are sinful. And he will because he wants to forgive you. That's why he came with show you his love and to also for and die on the cross so that we could be forgiven. When we do that, when we admit our, that our sins are wrong and ask Jesus for, for forgiveness, we, we are forgiven. We're not spreading sin anymore. We're spreading Jesus' forgiveness. And that's a very good thing. Enjoy it in prayer. Lord Jesus, thank you that you have come to be our Savior, that you gave your life on the cross to redeem us, to suffer and, and die for us.